named Stoffy Love. You can see he knows his name. And uh, he's staying with us on a farm just outside Grahamstown. And we're rehearsing him into the show, but he's not quite ready. He peed in the theatre yesterday. He's not. He's a bit shy. You can see he's a bit camera shy as well. Last year I had a show called Anyone Seen My Goat, which was uh, which was about a white sangoma looking for his goat because um, we poopy libogo. Yes, guys, No, he dreamed a goat and then he must find the goat. Uku kali goat. Not uku slaba slaba with the goat, but just to slaughter the goat. So we had that show about looking for a goat, and then this time we found the goat. So we thought, Revenge of the Goat, Return of the Goat, the Goat Father, the Father, the Son, the Holy Goat, Escape Goat was the closer version. But finally, um, we settled with one man, one goat. Well, we've got some stuff about the Sangomas and how you become a white Sangoma, if you, uh, or a black Sangoma. And uh, there's some stuff about Tony and Gany, Paris Hilton, Jacob Zuma. We've got some Zulu rugby commentary. Yeah, I grew up on a farm just outside Cape Town. And uh, I grew up with some Kosa guys. I was the white sheep of their family. Or goat. Sheep goat. The deeper meaning is we must all get in touch with our inner goats. Because as Desmond Tutu has said, you know what I want to say? You can hear by the way he laughs that he's in touch with his inner goat. And as South Africans, you, you know, it's very important. Yes, we should not be afraid to say what you want to say. Like a goat. Cut. <laughs>